guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a pretty wimpy bookshelf tour, but I wanted to get this up because within the next month, month and a half, my bookshelves are going to be completely changing. I'm going to get a proper bookshelf and organize all of the books on it. So I just want to show you what I started off with, what all my books were initially kept on, and show you kind of where my reading genre and tastes were at the beginning of my channel. So um, my bookshelves are wall shelves. I'll have them linked down below and I keep them in this corner of my room. I'm still going to keep them after I get my bookshelf. Um, it's probably going to go on that wall because I don't have too much space in my room. Um, but it's going to be one of like the basic Ikea ones that you can put together really easily. And once I fill it up, I can go buy another one. But um, these are not necessarily all of my books because I do have some books that I'm keeping for an unhaul video and then I do have some books that I'm keeping for a haul video. So that is kind of going to be like all of the YA contemporary science fiction fantasy books that I missed out on so I'm finally getting the chance to come around and read them. Um, just a lot of books that were popular on booktube maybe when I was not aware of them. So yeah, I'll also try and link my chair and like sitting area because that is going to be showed in the next clip as well. And I'm trying to think of anything else I had to say, but it'll be in the description if you guys want anything specific. But yeah, I just wanted to make this intro really quickly so that there would be an introduction to what you're about to see. So these are my bookshelves and I'll have them linked down below. I got them on Amazon and then underneath I just have this chair with some pillows and a blanket. It's like a little reading chair. And then the three shelves and they don't fit all my books so I also have a little stack here as well. Um, and then I have some on like my desk which those are for a haul so I don't want to show those and then I also have some on my nightstand and those are books that I'm currently reading so I have books spread everywhere but these are the majority of the ones that I have so I'll start over here and this is just um, a little box that I have and then these are all the books that are on my TBR so I have a Gathering of Shadows, Kingdom of Ash, House of Salt and Sorrow, The Modern Fairy Tales, Bone Crier's Moon, A Court of Mist and, or A Court of Wings and Ruin, and then here I just have a Ninth House, um, House of Earth and Blood, and Children of Blood and Bone. And then these are two like fairy loot um, book sleeves. So then on to these shelves. I'm gonna have to stand up because I can't actually like reach all them. So on this first shelf I have like mostly YA and I have a couple little like trinkets. So I've got a Starfall candle, a little Cruel Prince keychain, and a Cruel Prince mug. All of those are from Fairy Loot. And then I've got Cruel Prince, the black edition of Wicked King and Queen of Nothing, and then a collector's edition of the Queen of Nothing. Then I've got a Court of Thorns and Roses and a Court of Mist and Fury and the hardback of A Court of Frost and Starlight. Then I have A Curse So Dark and Lonely, The Beholder, An Ember in the Ashes, and then these would not fit vertically so I had to put them horizontally, but I just have Twilight, New Moon, and Eclipse, and then going down in chronological order I've got Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Heir of Fire, Queen of Shadows, and Empire of Storms. So this is very jam-packed and definitely crammed and I don't like the way it looks. <laughs> so on this shelf then it's kind of like a mod podge. So first I have this like Polaroid type camera and then I have some astrology books because I'm really into astrology. So this is astrology for the soul and the only astrology book you'll ever need. Then I have some collections of poetry. So this is I wrote this for you and then we've got milk and honey and whiskey words and a shovel. These were all birthday gifts. And then I have some graphic novels and comics, so Monstrous Fence, Heartstopper Volume 1, and Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me. Then over here I've got some books kind of just mismatched. They're not in any rhyme or reason. So I have the black edition of Death Note, so it's got Volume 1 and 2, a paperback of Caraval, 
Red Queen, uh, City of Bones, which is the first book of the Mortal Instruments, A Darker Shade of Magic, Shadow and Bone, Six of Crows, The Girl of Fire and Thorns, The Wicked Deep, Grave Mercy, and then back here, this is just um, the Essential Grim Fairy Tales. So it's a collection of Grim Fairy Tales. That's really handy when I am reading retellings. And then Crooked Kingdom and Ghosted by Rosie Walsh. And for the final shelf, this is just like another hodgepodge shelf. So this has some nonfiction, some classics, some school books, and then like some YA. So I have Sense and Sensibility, One Day in December, Somebody I Used to Know, All the Light We Cannot See, which was a school book, It Gets Worse by Shane Dawson, To All the Boys I've Loved Before and Always and Forever Lara Jean, I don't have the middle one. The Hobbit, I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara. This is like a kind of biography on the Golden State Killer. And then books one and two of Harry Potter. Then over here I have Tess of the Durbar Bells, Their Eyes Were Watching God, which was another school book. Then I have like a little collection of Mitch album books. These were a gift from my English teacher. So I have The Five People You Meet in Heaven, The Next Person You Meet in Heaven, Tuesdays with Maury, and For One More Day. Then I've got my very busted up version of Pride and Prejudice. And then I've got Crime and Punishment, Frankenstein, which were both school books. Caraval, Finale, I'm Missing Legendary by Stephanie Garber. And then this is a collection of Withering Heights and Jane Eyre. So it is like a two-in-one Barnes & Noble collector's edition type spiel. So those were all the shelves and what books I have on them. It's going to completely change within, like I said, about the next month, month and a half. I'm hoping to have like rainbow shelves because right now they're not really organized in any manner. They're kind of just all stuffed on a shelf. So uh, yeah, and I will definitely be doing a reorganizing my bookshelves video and show you guys the whole process of me putting the shelf together placing it somewhere in my room and then organizing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this pretty short and quick video. So if you have any questions or any recommendations of books you think I should add to my shelf, please leave them as a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys. And I think that's about it. So I hope you're having a good day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.